It's the largest identity theft scam Honolulu police say that it's ever seen. Yeah, with more than 900 victims, it's possible you could be a victim and not even know it. More with our top story from KITV's Jill Kuramoto. Well, Gary and Pam, it's a sophisticated scam that spans multiple states and is now being investigated by multiple agencies. Now, take a close look at the pictures I'm about to show you because police are hoping you can help crack the case. Police are looking for this man, who for three weeks back in October was in the islands making withdrawals using 900 different accounts, all Washington Mutual customers who still have their cards in possession. He somehow got information from the owners, whatever information that was needed, on his cell phone was able to call Washington Mutual Bank and change PIN numbers for over 900 victims. Between October 8th and October 29th, police say he was on a spree, starting in New York, then Hawaii and Las Vegas. In all, more than $88,000 was withdrawn. He may have slipped up here, raising bank official suspicions at Hawaii Central Credit Union on South King Street, when he drained the ATM machine using 27 different cards in two to three minutes. He changes his shirt, but his mug is caught on camera. It's believed the suspect is part of a larger network, and because he must have received duplicate cards through the mail, the postal inspector is involved in the case. We don't know what he's using or how he's doing it, but obviously this is an advanced scheme that he has. The 900 victims are spread across the country, and there could be more. The last transaction was in New York, so it's possible he does not live here. Now, no other information is available on this suspect other than he's an African-American male. But police say he had to have stayed in hotels, possibly rented a car, and ate around town, so someone may know who he is. If you do, call Crime Stoppers at 955-8300. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 Island Television News.